there's finally a breakthrough in the decades-long mystery surrounding one of the most puzzling ancient human species, the hobbit humans or Homo floresiensis. These tiny humans discovered on Flores Island have intrigued scientists for years. But now, a new discovery from the same island is helping us piece together the puzzles of their origins, offering clues about who their ancestors were and when they might have started shrinking in size. Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Muskan Bhatia and today we are diving into a new study that's rewriting our understanding of the early human ancestors. Researchers from Japan, Australia and Indonesia collaborated on this study and have revealed that some of our distant ancestors, the early hominins, were smaller than we ever imagined. Up until now, the hobbits of Flores, who stood just over three feet tall, were thought to be the smallest human species ever discovered. These small archaic humans, whose fossils were first discovered in 2004 in the Liang Bua caves on Flores Island, lived around 60,000 years ago. A decade later, in 2014, at a place called Metamensch, about 70 kilometers east from the Liang Bua cave, scientists unearthed fossil remains with slightly smaller teeth and jawbones, and they suspected that earlier relatives could be shorter than the hobbits. Despite suspicions around shorter ancestors, there were still some uncertainty because key fossils like an arm or leg were missing. These bones are crucial for accurately estimating height, so without them, the puzzle remained incomplete. But now, Researchers have uncovered a 700,000-year-old fossilized arm, which has given strong evidence that the ancestors of hobbit humans were even smaller than previously thought. Figuring out the size using this old fossil arm wasn't easy, though. One of the study's authors, Gert Van Den Burr, shared that it was tough to even recognize the fossil as an arm at first because it was so badly broken. After piecing together these fragments buried deep in sandstone caves of Metamensch, the researchers initially thought they were looking at a child's remains. But when they used CT scan and digital microscopy to estimate the length and age, they discovered something extraordinary. This arm actually belonged to an adult who was just about 3 feet tall, 6 centimeters shorter than the hobbit humans. Also, the reconstructed arm bone turned out to be the smallest adult arm ever found, just 211 to 220 millimeters long. For context, that's shorter than most smartphones today. Another mystery this new study helps unravel is where exactly the hobbits fit on the human family tree and when they may have started to shrink. Flores is close to the Indonesian island of Java, where the large-bodied Homo erectus and ancestor of modern humans lived. So researchers initially thought the hobbits might be related to this group. However, their short stature resembled more closely the Australopithecus species, which made it tricky to place them within the Homo group. But this new study has cleared up the confusion. By re-examining the teeth and jaw fossils alongside the newly discovered shorter arm fossil, Researchers found that the smaller teeth actually matched the characteristics of Homo erectus rather than the more primitive Australopithecus. Plus, there's no evidence of Australopithecus fossils from Indonesia or the surrounding areas. This new evidence supports the idea that Homo erectus gradually evolved to become shorter over 300,000 years, likely due to the changing environment on floors. It's a fascinating trend of reduced body size among these ancient hominins, though we are still left wondering why they shrank in the first place. That's all from me, but for more such videos, do tune in to the Print YouTube channel.